going to work And you can hear him if you're listening There's a little tune he's whistling It is time to plant the stars Farming is hot, egg is hot, food is hot Where does food come from? Who's growing it? What are those people like? Quonset, what does that mean, Quonset? It just seemed like very, you'll pardon the expression, fertile territory for writing and songwriting and an expression of affection and humor. You may not think agriculture and music go together, but singer-songwriter Susan Werner has dedicated an entire album to celebrating a core of the Nebraska economy. Susan mentioned that she was thinking about doing this song cycle about um, farming. And immediately that was a perfect match for the Lead Center in that Nebraska is, you know, agriculture and Nebraska are big. And it's and certainly meeting arts and agriculture, combining them is the perfect scenario for us to connect with uh, the heart of Nebraska. I wanted to express some of that feeling in a song that we are going to live and then pass away, but the soil is here, the landscape is here. Let's honor that because we are not the last ones to live on this planet. Through a unique collaboration between the LEAD Center and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Susan released the album Hayseed to celebrate farms, farmers and the people that love them. So the word hayseed uh, is, a, is a derogatory term people used to use for rural folks. And I wanted to send up the notion that, uh, that rural folks used to be the square ones. Now things have changed and egg is hot and there is some prosperity and new opportunities in agriculture nearly weep but we were just 4 h we were the ffa high time they learned how the tables turn now they're gonna pay i grew up on a working farm in iowa so there's that quote from Paul Harvey, I think the radio announcer, right? God made a farmer. Uh, but God must have been distracted momentarily and so screwed up and made another musician. <laughs> That's what happened to me. Uh, I don't have it. My sister has it. Uh, but I don't have it, that impulse to stay and to garden and to grow things. All the city kids. But I'm a musician. And with music, I can express affection and appreciation. And that's the soul of this project, I think. To spread the music of Hayseed, the Lead Center set Susan up in their performing arts program called Arts Across Nebraska. It also happened to be the second time Susan toured the state with the program. Greg, Tara, T-A-R-A. Arts Across Nebraska you know, is central to the mission of the Lead Center. Um, our mission is to educate, inspire, and entertain the people of Nebraska through the performing arts. And it's really bringing arts and music and theater and dance to people across communities that otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity to experience the arts. I was on a tour of Arts Across Nebraska. After I got back to Chicago, uh, one of the staff members sent me some feedback that they got from students who took part in these workshops. And one of the uh, little sheets from McCook, Nebraska, and uh, she wrote, Susan Werner, thank you for coming to this waste of cornfields. How did they form this opinion about where they live and who is forming that opinion for them? Uh, and I wanted to write a correction to that. Listen to me, kid. Listen to me good. Let me make myself understood. You say you're restless here amidst the miles of corn in this great state where you were born. Well, don't do like I did and get a great big hair. Go taking this all for granted. 
listen to me, kid. There's something to be said for blooming where you are planted. We've been able to not only celebrate the heritage of Nebraska through Hayseed, but also um, connect with people that otherwise we normally don't have a connection with. To allow me to create new material uh, that talks about these concerns and these characters and bring this music to the people of Nebraska. It takes a lot of imagination to create something like this, and I've been lucky to be a part of it.